Yes, this is red fern, a place of the indigenous people, a place that not many people want to come, a place where people are scared to walk into, but I have no problems walking through red fern. This is red fern. Yes, so I'm going to just do a little walking down here. I won't be close, but you'll see kids playing. Yes, this is a red fair, Australia. A place of indigenous people. Yes, I'm not scared to walk in red fair because I know they're my people. I know they're my brothers and sisters. Yes, this is red fair. A beautiful place, yes, 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 this is a great shed, a place of indigenous people, yes, yes, this is a red fern, Australia, a land of the indigenous people. This way the fight for freedom in Australia started. And the red fern for a long time had this reputation of being a place of crime, a place where no one could walk the red fern. I just want to see what the people still think of red fern of today. Yes, this is red fern. You always living in red fern? Uh, no, I grew up in Five Dog. So how long have you been in Red Fern for? Uh, 14 years. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about Red Fern. Because what I know, what I heard from a lot of people is that Red Fern is really a dangerous place. What's your opinion? Um, Red Fern has always been... Um, I've always felt safe in Red Fern. Okay. Because I'm like mm -hmm. this, right? So, I can understand that red fern is in, people can say it's unsafe from a particular ethnicity, but nobody, red fern made me feel safe. Some people even think that, you know, only black people feel safe in red fern. Is that true? Yeah. All oh, right. I feel it's safe here. Okay. Mm. So, you, you tell me that the white person is not safe in Red Fern. The white person, uh, the Palangi has a particular perspective. Palangi, what's that? Uh, it means uh, the colonizer. What's your message for those people that don't know Red Fern? Would you invite them to come over? Uh, have an open mind. If you come to Red Fern, um, and be polite to everybody. Hmm. Okay, tell me one thing. For you, who's the famous person in Red Fern? Mad Mary. I never heard of her. Uh, you'll find her sometime. She's like a unicorn. You'll find her randomly. Wow. Sitting around. Oh, is she? A street person? Uh, no. <laughs> She's just a local that everybody knows. Wow. She's famous. Yeah. Mad Mary, you said? There's a portrait of her in 507. 307? 107. 107. And she's road. still alive? Yeah. I would love to meet her. You meet her? Wow. Mad Mary. Okay. Always ask about Mandimi. Do you know a little bit about him? What can you tell about Mandim? Mandim? I don't the know. The footballer. I don't know much about Mandim. Yeah. Um, I don't follow football, but... um. His family is one of the old families of Redfern, along to Donahue's and yeah, the John Hughes and the Mundines are the old families of Redfern. Ooh, one other question. What what do you think about Africa? Do you know a little bit about Africa? Yeah, that it's uh, 
one of the biggest continents in the world uh, that is a whole lot more complicated, very similar to Australian nations, um, and has a lot of wealth and a lot of languages. Okay. Have you been to Africa or are you one day thinking to travel to Africa? I've been to Zanzibar, Tanzania and Kenya. Yeah, it's amazingly diverse countries, um, amazing cultures and I can't define it, but just really more diverse than, than what I You visit again? Uh, well, I want to go to Togo. Big part of that? I want to go to Togo. All right, what's the reason? Uh, my godchild is part Togolese and part Fijian. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Yep. I'm just walking through Red Fern. Yes. A land of the indigenous people here in Australia. Yes. A people that are still struggling for their freedom. Yes, this is Red Fern. I've lived in here on Lawson Street since, well, we bought the house in 1978. Okay. And it's been, I'm going to get carried out of this place in a coffin. Wow, so you love Red I Fern. I absolutely love Red Fern. Um, I also am very involved with a community newspaper. Wow, who okay. specifically the man who set it up 20 years ago specifically put set it up because so many times people portrayed look, Redfern and Waterloo and the surrounding areas as only being sources of bad news. We now tell those stories mm. that are not picked up by mm. the mainstream mm. media long before it started to be a trendy place. Wow, well, so in your own words, Red Fern is not that place that we hear at the news, at the mainstream media, being rough, being a lot of crimes here. So Red Fern is not that. It's not. I mean, my two children were brought up in Red Fern and what ended up happening with them is that they are both people of amazing integrity because they understand that you don't judge a person by their looks. They went to the local school where they got a really good understanding of Aboriginal history and um, they, my son is just about to have his little girl start there next year. So what message do you have for those people that don't live in Redfern but they're still thinking that the Redfern is a danger place? What do you tell them? I tell them that Redfern is a really genuine and community that look after each other. And we want to keep it a bit of a secret though. <laughs> because yes. we don't want too many people. You don't want to be overpopulated. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, unfortunately, yeah. we do need. What you said earlier is that in Red Fern is not a really that bad place. And you so, advise people to come and live in Red Fern. It's a beautiful place to yeah. live. Lovely appreciate it. Bye bye. Yes, I'm just walking through Red Fern. How beautiful. Look how beautiful it is. This is Red Fern, the land of the indigenous people. Yes. 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 Please, if you are new to this channel, I appreciate your support. Please subscribe it, like it, comment. Into reconnecting Africa. I'm just doing this little tour in Redfern, just to hear from my indigenous brothers and sisters what they think of Redfern. My sister, what's your name? My name is Deb. 
So you live in Redfern, how long for? Uh, I've been here for many, many years. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. So what yeah. do you think about Redfern? What do I think about it? It's a lovely place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a lovely place to live in. It's a community place. Yes, yeah. yes. And you, as you can see, all the kids running around here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. a community yeah. space. Yeah. 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 And so what do you tell people that think that the Red Friend is a place of a oh, lot of well, crime? <laughs> we're always judged by what white media says so you're never going to get away from that so you're never going to change you're never going to change white um, perspectives and what they think about aboriginal people is simple as that yeah, yeah. simple yeah. as that yeah. yeah no matter where you live <laughs> yeah no matter where you live yeah they're never gonna change no no they're not wow yeah. Look how beautiful. I want to show because they're children. Yeah. But look, you can hear the noise, the children yeah. playing, running, yeah. and, the, yeah. you know, safe, and, the, yeah. you know. Yeah. And, the, you know, you turn the TV on, they will tell you that the red Yeah, they don't this. want to see all the good things that Aboriginal people do. They just want to see the negative. Yes. And that's promoted by the media all over the world. Yeah. Regardless of who you are and where you what the, but it's still judged by the colour of your skin. That's right. Yeah. And that's why channels like this, we here to clean that misconception. We here to really tell people that places like Red Fern are the best place to live. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay my, then. Thank okay, you. my sister. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay. I appreciate it. Okay. Bye bye. Yes, you just heard, you know, what the media tells about the Aboriginal people, you know. Yes, this is Reconnecting Africa here in Red Fan, trying to talk to the locals just to hear the perspective. You know, this is Red Fan, a beautiful place, a place where the indigenous study they fight for freedom. This is Red Fan, portrayed as a dangerous place, but in reality, it's a very peaceful place a community place, yes, where the kids still live like kids, where the kids play like kids, where the kids still do things like kids. Yes, this is Red Fern. This is Red Fern. Yes, I'm walking through Red Fern, streets of Red Fern. It's no fear. Yes, I'm walking in Red Fern. Connecting Africa, Amir and Mandim's gym. Connecting Africa. Oh, okay. Yeah, and it's all about indigenous people. This, the good things that they, yeah, yeah. they, you know, you know how a lot of people had this misconception. So yeah. we're trying to sort of turn the things around. Yes. Yeah. So I've got a two young boxers here. Introduce yourself. My yeah. name's Kevin. I'm yeah. an amateur boxer. I just turned 18, and yeah, I'm getting ready to fight as soon Ooh. as my. It, I got a little cut on my lip lately. <laughs> sparring, so it's just healing. Someone smack you. Yeah, my braces. I got a cut. I just got stitches like a week ago. Oh, wow. So it's healing. I was supposed to fight tomorrow, but I got to give it a week to heal, you know? Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What about yourself? Introduce yourself. Me? me um, what's it called? I already introduced myself. I'll do it again. Oh, yes. Just do boxing part-time. Um, just for fitness, you know, a bit of fun. Mm -hmm. Maybe fight in the future, hopefully. Yeah, why not? 100%. 100%, right? but right now, just a uh, full-time job mm -hmm. uh, doing real estate. Okay, let's put that aside. We're talking about boxing, okay, man. Okay. So, who, who inspired you to, to be a boxer, man? Oh, you want to go first? Well, I feel like you should go first. Uh, for me, Shakur Stevenson. 
he's a young fighter right now. But also, I watched Creed, the movie, and I was like, <laughs> yeah, him, I want to be a boxer. Mm. And also, the OGs, you know, you got Floyd, you got Roy yeah, Jones. Yeah. Man, the OGs just make it look mm, too easy. Mm, mm. But when you get in there, it's the hardest thing ever, eh? Hey? Exactly. That's it. What about you, my mate? Look, um, I've, always, I've always done martial arts. I did karate from a yeah, very young yeah. age. Okay. I've always sort of got into boxing just to defend myself. Mm, always mm, to, mm. always to what's it called, look out for others and defend yourself. But if someone inspired him, have to be the big Lomachenko. Mm, mm, mm. The way he dances in the ring, mm, I gotta, mm. it's too good. One thing I noticed... I said earlier we don't want to talk about anything else about boxing, boxing. But you were talking about real estate. This, you tell me that it's good for young men not just to rely on one, on one thing. 100%. Yeah. Not to just rely on one thing, but have, uh, have a journey set up in your life. Back up. You agree with that? Yes, man. Like, don't put biggest... all your eggs in one basket, <laughs> essentially. You got to have goals in life. Yes. If yes. you have no goals, you have no journey. You have no destination. Talking about goal, what's your main, main goal in life? Main goal, I mean, I'm wow. talk, we're talking about bas uh, boxing. Of course, I love boxing, man. Becoming undisputed, becoming a world champ, you know, that's, that's, that's what every kid's dream at my age, you know? But other than that, it's just being able to travel the world, being successful. Mm. Success, that's my biggest, you know? Mm. When I feel like I'm successful, I'll be... Hey, guys, happy. remember these two guys. One day, <laughs> they'll be fighting <laughs> up there. Of course, of course. Remember their names. <laughs> That's it. Remember, guys. Those Thank you guys are guys so much. You know, you keep working hard, man. So yeah, uh, yeah. I want to ask you about your inspiration. Oh, I thought you were gonna mention Monday. <laughs> Monday. Oh. Since I was young, man, yeah. that's what I saw on TV, yeah. television, yeah. HBO. Yeah. That was my main source yeah. of boxing, and yeah. that's what I saw mainly. And it boxes boxing is about styles, you know. Everyone's got a different style. And you styles slowly, fights. yeah. I'm not saying styles make fights. And you know, mm. you watch different things. You take a little bit from Floyd. You take a little bit from Shakur. You take mm, a little mm, bit from Haney mm, Tank. Mm. Then you make your own style. Yeah. Yes. That's what it is. It's about that's, finding your own boxing. And that's the life as well. You know, you, in life, you, you can't just follow the pattern. You gotta yeah, yeah. create your own things. 100%. Come here, Red Fan, talking to future old champion of boxing. I know they, they do other things in life, but. They are boxers. It yeah, worked. Yeah, that's it. Lauren Santos and <laughs> Kevin Singh, baby. <laughs> that's it. That's Remember it. those names. Remember. <laughs> Remember. That's it. So, what's your message to the to those people? I mean, that they, they wanna do boxing, but somehow they sort of don't don't have that courage to come and do it. What's oh, your message? Man, just come give it a go, eh? Hey? You'd have to look. To be honest, you can't. How you gonna? You can't get any worse if you don't try it. That's you, it. Have to, you have to give it a try, regardless mm -hmm. if, you, if you fail. If you think about everyone that's successful, yeah. Floyd, everyone, the best winners are the best at losing. Mm. And then, and getting back oh, up. Oh, wow. You, wow. All start, you all start from somewhere, you know? Skinny, tall, doesn't matter your color. <laughs> you all mm. box, man. That's exactly. the biggest thing. It's exactly. Everyone's united in boxing. Exactly, exactly. I mean, most of world champions, they, they start from nothing, of you course, know what I mean? Look at Pacquiao. 100%. Exactly. Started from nothing. <laughs> Seven time, different yeah. weight class yeah. champion. Yeah, yeah. I'm thinking. So, another thing, you know, you guys live in Redfern, and as, it, as I was saying earlier, Redfern yeah. really have that reputation, exactly. or had that reputation. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think of Redfern, of yesterday and the Redfern of today? It's, look, it's, it's not what they say it is. It's cleaned up a lot. It's a good society. Um, and it's, it's a connecting society, you, you know what I mean? It's not just um, we come in here as outsiders, but we come in here as one family. Okay, community. One community, 100%. That's it. Because a lot of people, my brothers, are scared to walk into Redfern. Mm. No way, man. You just... <laughs> man, I, we just started this gym a couple of months ago, right? Mm. It's been nothing but love. Yeah. Nothing yeah. but appreciation from everyone. Nothing but everyone greets you. Man, I'm not even afraid. I leave training at 9 o'clock at night. Mm. No one bothers me. It's not it's what it. you think it is, you know? It's all the stereotype at the it's end of the day. It's all the stereotypes. No. That's true. I've got to give a chance. Red Fern is a beautiful place to live. 100%. Man, um, have you met Mandim? Um, actually, no, I've seen him, but I never met him. <laughs> got We've seen myself. him around, but we haven't. We haven't had to get the... Uh, I want to meet Mandim. Come on, <laughs> I want to talk to you, Mandim. You are doing great work for the community. That's it. Please, if you, 
anyone can hook me with Mandim, I will really appreciate it. That's it. That's it. 100%. <laughs> time this is reconnecting Africa here in Red Storm, the land of the indigenous people, the place where the indigenous people were inspired to fight for their freedom. Yes, yes. this is reconnecting Africa. If you want a new place, support us. Please like it, comment, yes, give us suggestions. Get involved. Help us if you can. This is Reconnecting Africa. Bye-bye.